Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Pastor Latoya White here on this Thursday, Thursday. And guess what? It is a new year. It is 2024. Yes, yes, yes. It is 2024. And I'm excited. And I hope that you are excited. Love and share this video to share the excitement and to encourage someone else today. One of the scriptures that I want to share with you is... Philippians 3, 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Philippians 3, 13. I want to encourage you with don't let the devil beat you up about your past. All right? Everyone has done something, okay? Everyone has done something that they are not proud of. All right, everybody. But once you repent and you ask for forgiveness and you are truly working out your salvation before the Lord, renewing your mind and keeping your heart right. And when you make a mistake, you repent and you try again and you don't quit. That Once you repent, that thing is under the blood. It is in the past. It is cast into the sea of forgetfulness. When God looks at you, he sees the blood of Jesus. Don't let the devil beat you up and condemn you. That is your adversary, the accuser of the brethren. And what he wants you to do is shrink. He wants you to lose your voice. And he wants you to not have the confidence that you need to press forward and run with the vision, which is the next thing. This is the new year, and everybody is talking about the new you, reinventing you, New Year's resolutions, goal setting, writing down vision. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with um, writing down the vision. I encourage you to write the vision down. God has a plan and purpose specifically for you. It's not somebody else's vision for you to to steal and see what they're doing. God is not in that. Listen, there's a lot of that going on. And that is proof that that man or woman did not spend time with God and get something for their life. They stole it. And God's hand is not on that. Listen to me. God has something specifically for you, a vision for you. And you can grab it. You can get it. And when you get that vision, okay, for your business, for your life, for your book or what have you, write it down. Then you can get specifics and strategies, okay? You want to lose weight? How much weight do you want to lose? How are you going to lose it? What um, food regimen are you going to have? What's your exercise regimen? What is your schedule? You want um, better finances. What are, what are your plans? What is your goal? What do you mean by better finances? You want a better career. Do you want to start a business? Do you want to get out of debt? How much money do you want to make? Then so on and so forth. Write all of those things down. Those things are great. Do you want to write a book? What type of book do you want to write? What is in your heart? So on and so forth. All of those things are wonderful. You want a better relationship in your mar with your in your marriage with your children. You want better friendships. Write all of those things down. Get strategies. Get scriptures from the Lord and run with it. But you have to be committed. We have to be committed in our heart. Set realistic goals. Don't set yourself up for failure and disappointment, okay? And be committed. You will not be able to finish strong without honest commitment in your heart, all right? Don't be, af don't be afraid of uh, success. And if you mess up and you're um, on that eating regimen, you know what? Start over the next day. Just don't give up. Don't quit keep running forward it's 2024 do something that you've never done put pressure on your soul it will be painful to stretch and it's like in the natural when you're stretching those muscles it hurts it's going to be a little painful to stretch your soul in areas that you have not stretched before but the reward is great okay you have to have to you really have to believe that the reward is going to be great after you stretch in those areas to accomplish those goals amen press forward and forget those things behind you happy new year it is 2024 share this video to excite and encourage someone else today this is pastor latoya white on this thursday thursday god bless you